Lost treasure. Thieves steal giant gold coin worth millions. The world's second largest gold coin was stolen from a museum in Germany by thieves who used some pretty old-fashioned methods to get the job done. The big maple leaf coin was issued by the Royal Canadian Mint in 2007 and is worth an estimated 4 million US dollars. The coin was stolen from the Bod Museum in Berlin in the early hours of Monday by at least two thieves who used a ladder to enter the building through a rear window. The 100 kilogram coin was displayed in a bulletproof glass cabinet. The thieves smashed their way in with a heavy tool, possibly a sledgehammer. They left the museum the same way they came in and then pushed the coin in a wheelbarrow down railway tracks toward a nearby park. Investigators believe the coin was damaged when the thieves then rappelled down from the railway tracks and made their escape in a getaway car. Police suspect the thieves had inside information because they somehow managed to evade all of the museum's security guards and alarms. The museum is refusing to reveal just what security it had in place, and the cops fear the coin has already been melted down and sold. Pirates' possible lost treasure found in waters off Madagascar. Explorers may be one step closer to finding the location of infamous pirate Captain William Kidd's lost ship, the Adventure Galley. Divers lifted what they say could be pirate Captain William Kidd's lost treasure from the waters off Madagascar on Thursday. The leader of the diving team said his metal detector picked up signals, but it was too muddy for him to see anything. He later found a 50-kilogram silver bar that he says could have been linked to Captain Kidd. In 1698, Captain Kidd looted a ship that was carrying satins, muslins, gold, and silver. However, the ship's English captain captured Kidd and brought him back to London, where he was found guilty of piracy and for murdering one of his crewmen in 1697 and sentenced to death. The divers believe what they've found is genuine, and the markings on the silver bar are consistent with the time period Kidd was alive. However, this has yet to be proven. Florida treasure hunters find $4.5 million worth of gold coins. On July 30th and 31st, a fleet of treasure hunting boats discovered $4.5 million worth of sunken treasure. Brent Brisbane, owner of the fleet, said his crew recovered 350 gold coins, along with nine royals made especially for King Philip V of Spain. Spanish colonial coins were the main currency in North and South America between the 17th and 19th century. To facilitate easier transport from the New World to Spain, gold and silver were cut into roughly equal chunks and stamped with a pattern. Sometime in the 18th century, special coins called royals were made specifically for King Philip V of Spain, who reigned from 1700 until his death in the year 1746. The royals were different from regular gold coins. Royals were made by pouring molten gold into molds, which resulted in better circular symmetry. On July 24, 1715, 11 galleons carrying the royals along with troves of other treasures departed for Spain from Cuba. However, on July 31, 1715, the galleons were battered by a hurricane and sank in the area now known as Florida's Treasure Coast. The U.S. District Court of Florida will assess the gold recovered by the fleet from the Treasure Coast. 20% will be kept by the state and the remaining 80% will be divided amongst the crew. Diving Robot Finds Sunken Treasure a robot developed by Stanford University researchers could help us get to parts of the ocean that human divers just can't reach. The diving robot was deployed last month to retrieve sunken treasure from an ancient shipwreck off the coast of France. The robot returned with a vase from La Lune, the flagship of France's King Louis XIV, which sunk in 1664. The Ocean One robot is designed to take on tasks that are either dangerous or beyond the limits of divers. The humanoid robot, which is roughly five feet long, is controlled by a pilot on the surface. The pilot can see exactly what the robot sees through two forward-facing cameras. Ocean One's hands are fitted with sensors, which provide haptic feedback to the pilot's joystick. The pilot can feel whether the robot is gripping something light or heavy, firm or delicate. Ocean One is powered by thrusters and navigates with sensors and cameras, which help it compute how to avoid collisions. Researchers hope the robot can be used to study coral reefs located below depths that humans can dive to comfortably. There's also plans to enhance the robot's sensitivity by adding tactile sensors to each finger. 
The vase recovered by Ocean One from the shipwreck was reportedly covered in ocean junk and smelled like raw oysters, but was in good condition. Rare 19th century gold coins worth at least 10 million US dollars that were discovered by a California couple last year are about to go on sale. A Northern California couple was walking their dog on their property in the gold country last year when they noticed something sticking out of the ground. They stopped to investigate and found it was the top of a decaying canister. Using a stick, the couple dug out eight cans from the spot. Each contained several dozen 19th century gold coins. A total of 1,427 coins were found inside the cans. The coins, minted from 1847 to 1894, were organized inside the cans in chronological order. The coins were in $5, $10 and $20 denominations, altogether worth $27,000 in the 1800s. However, they are so rare today that just one coin is valued at one million and altogether the coins are valued at at least 10 million dollars. The discovery of the coins is believed to be the biggest hoard of gold coins ever unearthed in the United States. Ancient Tombs Discovered in Egypt Egyptian archaeologists have discovered ancient tombs dating back 2,000 years to the 27th dynasty and the Greco-Roman era. Three Ptolemaic tombs were recently uncovered at a dig site in Egypt's Minya province. The tombs are of a different archaeological design to the ones unearthed at the same site in 2015, which were 20 tombs in a series of ancient catacombs. The first tomb features a perpendicular burial shaft engraved in the rock, which leads to a single burial chamber containing four sarcophagi and nine burial holes. The second tomb has a similar shaft but contains two chambers. To the north is the first chamber, with its two sarcophagi and six burial holes, one of which was for a small child. At the end of the shaft is the second, which holds the remains of a wooden coffin. Excavation on the third tomb is still underway. Bones from the other two tombs identified men, women and children of different ages, suggesting the site was a large city cemetery. Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities announced the discovery on their Facebook page, calling it very important and saying work is underway to reveal more secrets. Pure Chance Unearths Roman Villa from Under English Farmhouse A British rug designer just wanted to lay electric cables to his barn so that his children could play ping pong inside. But in doing so, he unearthed what may be one of the biggest Roman villas in the United Kingdom. Workmen digging at a farmhouse in southwest England last year discovered a hard layer 18 inches below the surface that turned out to be pieces of a mosaic. Property owner Luke Irwin said he sent a photo of the mosaic to the local council. He told the New York Times that within 24 hours, a team of archaeologists were on his property. Archaeologists then began an eight-day dig at the farmhouse and in the field next to the house. Only a few test pits have been dug, but archaeologists say the existing walls seem to be more than a meter tall. The farmhouse appears to be sitting on a slab of marble in the middle of what was the Roman villa, which measured around 50 meters long by 50 meters wide and was probably around three stories high. A whole range of artifacts have been found on site during the excavation, including a child's tomb, oyster shells, brooches, animal bones, and coins, indicating the owners of the villa were wealthy. Artifacts from the dig have been taken to the Salisbury Museum while the dig has been covered up until archaeologists obtain more funding to do a proper investigation. Navy tugboat USS Conestoga found after 95 years lost at sea. After nearly a century of trying to uncover the mysterious fate of the USS Conestoga and its crew, the miraculous discovery of a shipwreck off the California coast has now paved the way for scientists to connect the dots to the Navy tugboat's disappearance. On March 25, 1921, the USS Conestoga set sail from Mare Island Naval Shipyard in Vallejo, California, carrying 56 officers and crew members on board. Bound for Tutuila, American Samoa via Pearl Harbor, it was intended to operate as a station ship. It never made it to its destination. Weather logs indicate that at some point along its journey, the Navy tugboat sailed into a vicious storm. In 2009, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was measuring the depths of the seafloor using multi-beam sonar technology when it discovered what appeared to be a shipwreck. 
In 2014, a two-year investigation commenced, with scientists finding the remains of a vessel 185 feet below the water's surface. The ship was roughly 170 feet long and 26 feet wide, complete with a 12-foot propeller. The ship's steam engine, steering gear, and a naval gun match those of the Conestoga. These remarkable findings have led scientists and the Navy to declare the Conestoga found and the mystery solved, hopefully bringing closure to the families of the lost souls once on board. Based on the location of the wreck, the Conestoga barely managed to travel 24 miles after departing from California's Golden Gate Strait. It sank within the first 24 hours of the expedition, roughly three miles from southeast Farallon Island. The remains of the ship are now home to a thriving ecosystem of sea creatures, and while many questions surrounding its past have finally been answered, what became of the crew is still anyone's guess. No traces of any bodies were ever recovered.